what the haters talking about. What's up, family? The Trump administration wants to scrap food stamps for low-income Americans and replace them with boxes of non-perishable food items selected by the government. The proposal was touted by White House Budget Director Mick Mulvaney and included in the White House fiscal budget on Monday. This measure, according to the government, Trump administration, is going to save the federal government about $129 billion over the next decade. I wouldn't count on it. But check out the video, leave your comments, and I'll come back with mine. Welcome back here to the News at 5. A story caught our attention today. We thought you might find it interesting and may want to weigh in. Here it is. The White House has a new proposal. The idea here is to replace part of the food stamp program that we've all heard about for years. They're calling this one America's Harvest Box. Here's how it works. Actual boxes of food would be delivered to the roughly 16 million homes that qualify. All of the food in the boxes would be grown in the U.S. would include pantry items, juice, pasta, canned meat, beans, that sort of stuff. By some estimates, it would save $129 billion over a decade because the bulk buying is cheaper. That's the whole catch here. The White House budget director calls the concept innovative, comparing it to meal kit boxes like Blue Apron that maybe you serve your family. That's the pro side. On the con side, critics say the logistics of this are kind of a nightmare, say the other costs in other areas could wipe out any potential savings in all of this, Maureen. So that's kind of the big picture. Right, and of course, the grocery industry is a little bit afraid, superstore yeah. industry. So Chris, delivering the boxes could be an issue. If you take on a program like this, it comes with the same problems that are facing the other big home delivery companies. Yeah, I mean, if you consider it Blue Apron, which is very popular, it kind of was hugely popular about two years ago. If you look at their stock as any kind of indicator, it has kind of crashed and said it's two year low. So if the government's going to kind of buy into this, they have to realize there are some pitfalls that even the private sector couldn't quite iron out. Yeah. I wonder what the average Trump supporter thinks about this. Because you know, that's who the majority of recipients of welfare is. Some of you who believe in the hype might have been taken by the propaganda machine, the American media, who will have you believe that the majority of people on welfare is black. They're gonna be big time affected those Trump supporters, big time. In fact, you know what would be real cool? If one of y'all come in under this video, because I know you'd be watching it, that'd be real nice. Now Trump, he haven't taken into account how he's going to deliver these boxes. He hasn't thought about the logistics. You already have companies out there who are experts in logistics who are having problems with their budgets. So this is gonna be very interesting to see. Now, his budget director, Mick Mulvaney, this dude compared delivering these boxes of non-perishable items, basically poison in a can, to Blue Apron, which is a gourmet food company, they deliver gourmet food. Their food costs about $10 a meal. It's $9.99 a meal, right? If that's three meals a day, that's $30, 30 times seven, $210 every single week. I think that that's, that it, that, that's for one person. That's a long damn way from Blue Apron, a long ways. But leave it to Trump, and his administration, his minions, to put a spin on it, to make some people say, yeah, way to go, sounds good to me. Now, I'm gonna tell you straight up, the welfare system is, it's, it's full of fraud, it's flawed, but this ain't the answer. This is not the answer. This is kind of like how people are in America when somebody does something and the very first reaction is punishment. Let's give them a bunch of years. Let's not get to the cause. Let's not try to work this thing and, and try to work out 
what the cause is. Let's not try to get to the root of the problem. Let's just deal with the effects. <laughs> I'll be the first to admit that the welfare system is highly flawed. I get it. But there's another group of people who the average person very seldom thinks of when they think about welfare recipients. And those are our elderly, the people who have worked for a very long time until their health no longer allowed them to. And they ended up on low income and disability. Disability that they paid into. So they're not all frauds. Everybody is not trying to get over. Many of these people have health conditions where they can't even eat that type of food that they would put in those boxes, all those, that food with all of that salted in and all of that stuff, that canned stuff. They can't eat that stuff because of their heart condition or diabetes or whatever it is. So it's unhealthy. So to try to come up with this one solution, this one size fit all solution, is very, very dangerous. And for even thinking of something that's stupid, Donald Trump, your mama should be embarrassed and your daddy should have pulled out. No more talk. What, what the haters talking about? Yeah.